I remember it well, the day in which the hanging took place. The forest, the river, the slight chill of the wind, the troopers that carried out the command. It all happened so perfectly. You see, my story takes place long ago when I lived in a small town called Feather Bridge. I was a risky young man with an impetuous heart. But I was also in love with a girl, Rebecca. Rebecca's father didn't believe we should ever marry, though. You see, I was a poor man, and her father would only allow me to marry her if I could raise enough money to support a family. And there was no way for me to raise the amount of money he required by any of the small jobs I got in the town. So I devised a different plan. Robbery. I know who you are! Though the plan worked for a while, I was eventually discovered and had to flee town before they found me. I had to leave the girl I loved, but I promised her I would return someday and marry her. Four long years passed, during which I joined the Union Army. I fought many battles and had taken many lives, but not one day went by that I didn't think about Rebecca. Finally, I worked up the courage to go back home. No one would recognize me, and I could finally marry Rebecca. When I got back home, she was there all right, but she wasn't single anymore. I couldn't believe it. I was outraged that while I was gone, she went and married someone else. She couldn't even wait for me like she said she would. I was devastated. Yes, I had thoughts of suicide, but after some deep thought about the situation, I decided, why should I have to be miserable? I wasn't the one who did this. She should be the miserable one, not me. She should have to feel the pain I'm feeling. So I thought out a plan of revenge, and quite a good one if I do say so myself. I went to their house, cloaked as a Confederate scout. I told her husband about the situation the Confederates were in, and how if only someone could burn down the bridge over Owl Creek, we'd have such a good advantage over the north. He took the bait, because that night our troops had captured him. The next morning was the day of vengeance. He was set to be hung at Owl Creek Bridge. He showed great bravery, I must say. Any fear he had, 
didn't show. I can't even imagine what must have been going through his mind the last few seconds of his life. I gotta get away. I must get back to Rebecca. done it. Peyton Farquhar was dead. I didn't know this man, but yet I had sent him to his death. I didn't feel any remorse. I had sent many soldiers to the death throughout the war. He was no different. Now, Rebecca, the girl I once loved, will have to feel the pain I felt, having the one you love taken away from you. She will never be the same. Just how I will never be the same. I got my revenge, and now there seems to be no point in life. Mm -hmm.